Hi everybody, thanks for watching my channel. This video is going to cover something different, a little decorating that we did in our house. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe, by the way, I really appreciate it. We are people who have a lot of friends, thank God. We love every one of them, and we do a lot of entertaining. We needed a room in our house where people could feel like they're on vacation and have lots of fun. So we decided to build a tiki hut, an indoor tiki hut for year-round fun. We hired a contractor, we got a designer, thank you Beth for all your hard work, and we put the room together with the help of the others. I may be a personal trainer, but I can actually do okay with painting. I don't mind painting. So that was my job. So here's how we did it. Here's the before pictures and you'll get the after uh, grand tour also. This is the Tiki Hut during construction. They already put the cabinets in and up there is going to be the elephant grass hanging off of there. The fridge, we're going to decorate and disguise, maybe as a piece of luggage or an outhouse. We don't know. And there's our great view. And then over here, they're going to install a closet for more storage space. There's the fireplace before. We're keeping the fireplace, but we're going to paint the brick and put a flat screen TV on there. And that's, we're going to move the banana plant out of here eventually to finish construction. And there's the old bar, our prototype that we trash picked <laughs> and covered in elephant grass just to give us the feel of the Tiki Hut. All right, so this is the before pictures. Let's see how it turns out. I needed to paint the fireplace. It was red brick and the black part of the fireplace, the metal part had brass on it from 1981. So I had some painting to do. I went over to Sherwin Williams and asked my expert friend Lou what to use on the fireplace. I'm at my local Sherwin Williams store with my favorite guy Lou who's helped me out on several different projects. So Lou, I want to paint my fireplace it's red brick. It's not matching my Tiki Hut style. What should I use to paint it? What do I need? Well, I highly recommend a concrete stain. It is usually for bare concrete um, or masonry or brick or anything like that. Okay. And uh, we can tint to any color. It will be a flat finish. Okay. Um, I highly recommend it because it will not peel. It actually absorbs into the, the masonry and brick. And it will give it a lasting finish, especially because it's an in interior. Okay, great. So that's even better than acrylic paint for this project. Definitely. All the right. Acrylic might have a chance to peel if anything goes wrong. Okay, or awesome. The stain will not ever peel. Okay. And what other tools do I need? Um, depending on how rough the surface is you're painting, I suggest a half to a three quarter inch nap roller and brush anything that you can't reach with the roller. Okay. It goes on just like paint, actually. It's very easy to work with. Okay, awesome. Let me get those things and I'll head home and start my project. Excellent. Good luck with it. Thanks. So Lou's telling me to get this product. It's the Concrete Stain. What did you call it? H&C. Oh, H&C is the brand. Yeah. And you said there's a website that we can go to? Definitely. SherwinWilliams.com. Okay. And click on Staining Concrete, or I don't know how it's in there, but it's very easy to find, very easy to maneuver. It's a beautiful website, actually. And lots of colors available for that. Any color, white to black. All right. Cool. Thanks. All right, let's pick out a color. That's next. So the Tiki Hut is coming along pretty great. You can see we've got bamboo on the ceilings. The thing I'm tackling today is going to be the fireplace. It was red brick. I painted it white with a wonderful concrete stain that was awesome to work with. I have covered the rest of the fireplace. I want to spray paint 
with the high heat spray, just the top part, because that top part gets the hottest. The rest, because it's a gas fireplace. The rest of the fireplace does not get that hot. So I'd rather use regular acrylic paint around the outside. I'm not a big fan of spray paint because it gets everywhere and you have to breathe it in and it smells really bad. But this tiny strip here, I'm going to go ahead and put my first coat on. This is another part of the fireplace that gets really hot. So I took it off. I was able to take this piece off, and I'm in my garage, and I'm going to uh, spray paint it with this high heat spray. All right, I'm about to put, sorry, the lighting's terrible in this garage. I wonder why. It's a cloudy, rainy day out there. All right, I'm going to put my second coat on this piece that came off the fireplace with our high heat spray paint. This is looking good. It's covering up the brass also. The other thing I had to paint were the cabinets. I went and got a sample paint for the color. I ended up going with the avocado green because it looked really terrific with the green and the rug here. The rug really makes this room. It's beautiful. I ended up painting the cabinets with the uh, sample paint. Well, it scraped right off, <laughs> so it was a big mess. We had to sand it all off. Big disaster. We sanded it all off. I went back to Sherwin-Williams, and Lou was out that day, but this terrific lady helped me pick out the correct paint to use on the cabinets. Here's how that went. <laughs> I'm at Sherwin Williams and I have help here. Lou is out today, but what's your name? Hi, I'm Sierra. Hi, Sierra. Boy, do I need help. <laughs> so, as I was telling you, I bought the um, avocado green mm -hmm. sampler, mm -hmm. which I thought was enough paint to do my cabinet. So, I painted the cabinets. The paint just scraped right off. Mm -hmm. So, my husband and I had to sand everything off. Mm -hmm. And so, so my husband said, go get primer mm -hmm. because th it shouldn't have um, come off so easily. Mm -hmm. But you just told me what. Okay, so this is a sample quart. So what that means is it's just a color. It's not like the hard, durable, corrosion paint. So what you want to do is get just a quart. This is just like the sample paint that you can put up on the wall just to see the color. It's oh. not going to be durable. It's not going to last for years. It's going to peel right off. Oh, I wish I would have known. Yeah. So you can't really use for painting because it's not real paint. It's just nope. so we can see what color things are. Yep, it's oh. simply a sample. So I think just to be safe, mm -hmm. let's. Um, is it possible to make a primer in that color? If, if yeah, it can't, it'll be this color. Oh, it will be that mm -hmm. color. Oh, yeah, then let's do that. Okay. Yeah, that way I know it won't scrape off anymore. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Our Tiki Hut is finished, and I'll give you the grand tour in a moment, but I want to say thank you to Tom Hawks at Total Home Solutions in Norristown, PA. They did a great job, all your guys, Chris, Andy, Amir. You guys did a terrific job here, and we are thrilled with the outcome of it all. We finally have our Tiki Hut for entertaining all our crazy fun friends. So let me give you the grand tour. Here it is up some decorations the guys hung the TV we got our fireplace every tiki hut needs a fireplace my surfboard is providing some decor since I can't use it in winter time the furniture is here for now it'll go outside uh, come warmer weather our rug is amazing it really puts it just puts this room all together. There's our old tiki bar that we already had. I painted the fridge just to blend it in for now. We're not sure what we're going to do with that yet. There is our bar area. New window is installed. We got elephant grass on the ceilings. It's awesome. And there's the rest of the bar area made with real bamboo. It's just lots of fun. It just goes to show you can do anything in your house with the right help and imagination. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Thanks.